Welcome back and welcome to the section Channels and Search. In this section, we're going to begin by getting our channel model and migration set up. After running our channel migration, we are going to set up our channel settings page so that we can update our channel's name, slug, and description. We'll then move on to uploading our cover and avatar image. Then we'll finish up by getting our search functionality set up and building out our search component. Let's get started by getting our channel model and migration set up. In this video, we are going to start by building out our channel model. Then we'll build out our channel migration. Then finally, we'll run our migration to add our channel table to the database. So let's start by generating our model and migration. Now that that's done, let's open our migration file and lay out the fields that we need. Here, we already get our increments table that allows us to auto increment our ID as well as our timestamps. We will need to add the following tables. So here we'll have our user ID so that this channel can belong to a user. We have the name for the channel, the slug, which is the unique URL name that we can access our channel, a description, a cover, and an avatar. Our cover will be the larger cover image that you see on our channel and our avatar will basically act as our picture you see that our description is nullable as well as our cover and avatar. This is because when we first create a channel, we won't have any of these fields available to us. You'll see description, cover, and avatar are nullable because when we initially create our channels, these fields will not populate it. We want to make sure that if a user deletes their account for any reason, or a user is removed from the database, that it automatically removes the associated channel as well. For that, we add a little piece of code that tells our migration file to do just that. And this basically just says that there is a foreign key user ID that will reference the ID on the users field. And when you delete a user to just delete the channel as well. Next, let's get our channel table populated to our database by running our migration command. Next up is to get our channel models set up. The first thing that I usually do when setting up my new models is to set up my protected fillable array. The fillable array is a cool feature of the Laravel Eloquent models that outlines what input is accepted for the user when using mass assignment methods like create or update. Here, I will just populate a piece of code that I've written previously. This basically says that name, slug, description, cover, and avatar are allowed to be populated when using the create or update function of the model. Within the channel model, we need a way to get the user that specified channel belongs to. So for that, we create a method to do just that. This function is part of one of Laravel's eloquent models built in features, which is relationships. And it basically just says that this specific channel or any specific channel that you're using belongs to a user and that's connected to the user model as well. Since we want to use slugs to access our channels, we are going to be using route model binding. We will need to create a method telling our model to use the slug as a key rather than our ID to look up the channel details. Now we are all set up to create channels in the next section.